Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dunk you like a biscuit. We'll check that I'm on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt.
Street. Why is it that the youth of today believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats? The goal! In my day, one had to work for years, making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts, the lot of them. Albeit slack jawed nephew Kevin ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. 
Yes, I played the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was scared. The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. While I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today, I'll tell you what I told that chap at the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem... Five. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. End of year results published. Now. New to the Crumley student range, Chicken Stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Crumley Farm's boneless chickens, add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agent and stamp. You've got Crumley's Chicken Stompers. Breaded for palatability, they really could be anything. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Students are reminded to find themselves.
Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. the news and the controversy is surrounding Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge, who allegedly blew his nose on official government documents. The stories like this are scandalous. It's perfectly clear to me that a group of students have fabricated the images somehow, and yet this poor minister faces all manner of backlash and public murmurings. And why? Because he was photographed doing something? I know a witch hunt when I see one. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. There's a fly in here. It tends to be a one-way affair, this relationship of ours. And that's how it should be. What do you know about radio after all? Almost nothing, I'd imagine. Still, it's time for that rare occasion where we put you, the listener, at the center of things. 
I am the aunt to ease your agony. The balm to abate what bites you. The A to all your cues. I am listening. Oh, and we're out of time. We'll get to your problems after this, all right? All right. is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Now taking students for dark art. Students should check in before trying to learn. Time for Agony Answers with me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. This week's problem is from student Felony Bogdropper, who writes, I've got loads of work but can't concentrate with all the noise in my flat. Well, Felony, I advise that you try a change of scenery. Work in the study. Write in the billiard room, mill about in the converted mill. Why, read in the scullery. Your home is your castle. Utilize all of its many, many nooks and crannies. That's what got me through the hard times. Mm. Hard work may or may not pay off.
Futurism is not a belief system. Like what you hear? Of course you do. So why not call in and let our producers know? Recent research suggests that over 97% of our listeners are incidental. That is, hearing by accident rather than intent. Collateral Johnnies, if you will. Nevertheless, I have faith that each radio segment, like a juicy needle in a haystack of filth, is found by someone somewhere. Well done to you, today's deliberate listener. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening.
Good morning. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Hello there, it's Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio, where today we'll be asking the question, do slow news days prompt needless questions? You won't be able to miss it. Later in the week, I'll be talking to the Boogie Knights. Those metal-clad funk makers are equal parts gallantry and groovy, groovy, groove music. Knights and chivalry were first popular hundreds of years ago, of course. But isn't it funny how these trends come around? Stay courtly, kids. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension.
I recently spent a weekend away on Pebbly Island, a beautiful locale in our proverbial neck of the metaphoric woods, where I stayed in a luxury hotel. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Ricky, you've changed. It's true. I do it all the time. I hardly recognize myself. Next up, mirrors. What are they looking at? Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. Project. Well done. New to the Crumley student range, unfoldable pizza. Yum. It'll fill you up without filling up your cupboards. Oh yeah. Crumley's unfoldable pizza. It's a fraction the size of your average frozen pizza. Whoa. And when it's unfolded, well, you've got yourself a whole pizza. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. The more you revise, the longer you've been revising.
real announcement. And now the news and today's top story. Sensitive government documents, first thought recovered, are now feared to be deli meats. Now that is a shame, but at least there's a salty silver lining. What's a little cyber insecurity when you've got a face full of ham? Nice one. <laughs> Students are reminded that this is the fun part.
Wasn't that a smashing tune? I'd have been tapping my toe from hither to yon if I wasn't completely torn deaf. Did you know that I'm also situationally torn deaf? Yes, I just cannot read a situation. I have one speed, and that's Ricky. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. Summer break would be a convenient time for construction. Another craze sweeping our county's youth. The so-called Cheesy Gobboff asks challengers to see how many cheesy gobbins they can stuff into their answers.
collecting gobs. Competition is a wonderful thing, don't you think? It brings us all together and fills our mouths with cheese. Students should check in before trying to learn. The academic year is starting. I hope you have a pencil. Housekeeping. Thank you. Nearing the finish line today, but first our producers wouldn't let me leave without trying my hand at the cheesy gob off. Play that music while I gob on down. I've done 60. I've done 60. <laughs> you get my try. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Sharon. That's quite nice. That's short. It's very cheesy. Janitor needed in Spell's room.
needed to set reminders. Sandwiches will be eaten by me. is a test announcement, not a real announcement. to Campus Radio. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms, narrating your coming-of-age story in all its awkward post-adolescent glory. Here's a song that perfectly captures the mood. Campus intruders, please not come in.
ask questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Today, students have been spotted eating what some are calling nice looking baguettes. Naturally, everyone is asking where they can get a nice looking baguette. We don't have an answer for you, but join us for some wild speculation later in the show. No, you can't have an extension.
Here's Wanda with the latest music trends. Tapes are in. Yes, those little rectangular guys are all anyone who's anyone is listening to. They're fabulous. Streaming can go on forever, but tapes? Tapes end. Don't you see, they end. One minute there's music and then bang, gone. Just like us. Oh, and they've gone out of style. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. Waiter, waiter! Oh, the service here is terrible. You could go out. Or you could stay in. <sighs> With a bowl of hog logs. You've tried fine dining, but this is swine dining. Only hog log cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin.
We promised you speculation and here it is. Our sources tell us that a van parked on campus and began to sell not only baguettes, but a variety of pastries as well. One bystander described the shock. It just came out of nowhere. Next thing I knew, it was gone and I was holding this really nice looking baguette. What a day. There you have it. Lightning doesn't tend to strike twice, but here's hoping for more serendipitous pasty vans in our collective future. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Announcement 
Intruders on campus. Oh no. That's easy listening. The sound of Two Point County on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio, the place your ears call home. We've got a barnstorming show for you today. But before we kick down the door and go straight for the valuables, soak in some sonic excellence. Play that track and we'll be right back. Keeping. Thank you.
in the news today, I seem to have sat on something sharp. We're not sure exactly what it is or what the consequences might be, but we'll update you as soon as we know more. Can you see it? Look at that. Is it in me? Tell me it's not in me. The summer break would be a convenient time for construction. The academic year is now over. The yearly results are in. Wow, didn't we do well? Students are reminded to be in two places at once. impression. No pressure. Announcement. The timetable is now live. Wouldn't you know, I'd sat at a sprig of holly from yesterday's lunch. That's the risk you run when adding a little pizzazz to your meal. But that won't stop me. It's not the first piece of holly I've sat on, and it certainly won't be the last. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening.
Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Waiter, waiter! Oh, the service here is terrible. You could go out. Or you could stay in. <sighs> with a bowl of hog logs. <laughs> You've tried fine dining, but this is swine dining. <clears throat> Only hog log cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. Point Radio, the station that puts the stable aces on the bike of your day. It's Ricky Hawthorne. The time is... Anyone got the time? No? They told me I'd regret putting sundials in the booth. There aren't even any windows, they said. Oh, how we laughed. More Timeless Radio, after this silky little number.
If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Chef Ricky here, bringing you a morsel of the day. We all like a boiled egg, but wouldn't you love one on the go? Just imagine, you're stuck in traffic and bang, a boiled egg just for you. You see, eggs have a casing or shell that's perfect for keeping the eggs safe. Why, I've got two boiled eggs in my pocket right now. Give it a try. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. <laughs> project. Well done.
I've just eaten a pocket egg. How are you? I must remember to boil another batch and take them to my next book club meeting. Yes, I've been in a book club since I was a boy, and this is my fifth attempt at The Salty Minstrel. One of the county's first books. I really do struggle with the old language. In fact, I think the only words that are the same are salty and minstrel. You'd think it was enough, but it's not. It's time for the question of the week. We asked, which instrument is the funniest? We had some great replies, including quite a few we can't read on air. You're a vulgar lot, you really are. Knock, knock. Who's there? The answer. The answer who? <laughs> the answer is the trombone. <laughs> No, that is funny. I'll be laughing until next time. Fare thee good and fare thee well. Good night. The more you revise, the longer you've been revising.
dogs don't eat homework. will make you look stupid. bonuses. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. It's me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, the voice coming out of your radio here on Two Point Radio. Isn't it a beautiful day in this little county of ours? Not that I'd know, of course. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several written requests to our management, this is actually just the way I like it. Skills are non-transferable.
questions. No, you can't have an extension. Quite all right with you. I'd like to discuss crockery. Any objections? No. Delightful. Yes, I don't know who needs to hear this. I'd imagine it's most of you, but plating is not optional. When you slop food onto a tray, you turn your food into slop. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Though I'm sure some of you will take that as an instruction to start shoveling chowder into your sockets. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. to repair machinery.
It's time for Agony Answers, where I solve one of your tiny little problems with minimal effort. The following is from Forlorn in Freshly. Nigel, the other day I accidentally left my dissertation on the bus. Could you please spread the word and see if I can get it back? Thanks in advance. Well, well, this is what you get for riding the bus. As for your request, I'd love to help you. I really would. But if I did, how would you learn? You see my dilemma? Education is non-refundable. Students for Internet History. 